Hello, and welcome to our Women's History Month series, Spotlighting Women in Racing. In this series, we are inviting social innovators, industry experts, and trailblazers to share their experiences and insight as we reflect on the past and collaborate to inspire and empower the next generation. I'm Beth Peretta, CEO and Team Principal of Peretta Autosport. And today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Steffi Bao, founder and CEO of Init Esports and Init Sports. Welcome, Steffi. To get us started, can you share a little bit about yourself and the work that you do at Init? Hi, Beth. It is a pleasure to be here. I'm super honored to be part of this uh, section. And uh, yes, you know, like uh, I, I am uh, Steffi Bau. I was uh, born in Italy. I had a little bit of a dream when I was a little girl. I wanted to become the fastest motorcycle racer on the planet. And of course, my parents dismissed it when I was six years old, but I ended up doing that. So very happy for that. And then uh, nowadays, I'm actually very much involved in esports. So your career has spanned multiple industries on two continents. After Europe, you came to North America. How did you find your path and passion to elevate others? Well, I have to say, when I started racing, you know, I was the only woman doing that. So for me, it was also it came from inside. So I really wanted to do what uh, I had the dream of doing. And I have, was very lucky to have two amazing parents that they were supporting me. But then, you know, there, is, there was a very important part that happened in my career when I got very hurt. So I had an accident, I got hurt. And therefore, you know, I needed to change things up and I couldn't be the racer anymore. So I needed to be on the other side of the fence. And that was the moment that I got the opportunity to elevate others because I became sort of like a mama to all the other female racer and then now instead of competing against me I was uh, helping them to understand how they can become better and then being seen more and also eventually be paid better you know to participate in sports. That's amazing so now as an entrepreneur and leader in the explosive esports industry what are you doing to champion uh, equitable opportunities for all athletes because esports uh, is really a, a unique opportunity for you to do that how are you doing it yes yeah, so, so i want to just touch base of why i got into esports it was because yeah. i was in italy and i uh, had my little niece there and i was noticing that she was spending two to three hours a day watching people play video games and i'm like what is going on here, <laughs> you know? And I know that the kids are the trendsetters. So I'm always been a person that really like to figure it out what we can do to include more people, diversity and everything in, 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 in motorsport. So I'm like, hey, maybe this is an opportunity to put a two and two together. So for me, I decided to dive in into the esport world and see what it can be done with sim racing and motorcycle racing digitally to pretty much lower the barrier of entry. Motorsport is expensive, so therefore, if you do it digitally, you have not only millions and millions of people that are attracted to that, but also gives the opportunity to enter and get passion into motorsport at a, very, at a fraction of the time. So that was my take into esports and why, you know, I think this is a great way to get everybody and anybody to participate in something that they love. You're absolutely right. And we have your niece to thank, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so in your role now and your advocacy, you apply many habits of an innovator, including challenging the rules and being empathetic. So how do you challenge the rules to inspire and empower women through representation, support, mentorship? Yes, yeah, so, so I guess one of the things is like I'm very authentic. So with me, you get what you see. <laughs> and, and I'm not scared to go and, and challenge the norm. Like in this particular case, for instance, I came up with the idea to create a motorcycle championship digitally um, matched up with the AMA, which is the American Motorcycle Association. Nobody came to them before. I just said, I think this is a great idea. We should do it. And I went to them and then they said, yeah, this is actually a good idea. So you can take it on and do it. So what I'm trying to say with that is that uh, if you have a, something that you're really passionate about and you love it, don't be scared. Go out there and try to pursue it on your own. Also get mentored, you know, like I be mentoring a lot of people because it's important to get this power to others to be able to try to do what they love. So yeah, for me, it's mostly like, uh, I believe so much in myself, I have kind of confidence, so I just go for it. And I help others doing the same. In fact, if other people 
I have a desire and, and they come to me, women, so minority, I'm always there in the back line with them and say, I stand beside you if you want to do this. And that's exactly the, sort of the, the next question I have is, is how exactly, you know, to be a, a leader is, is to also do, be empathetic. And so you mentioned, you know, when you first made the transition and working with young riders and now also in esports, you can do the same thing. So how would you say you're empathetic when you're working with up and coming athletes? What does that really look like when you're empathetic working with them? I would say that mostly it's about making them feel that they can do it. So, you know, I've done it. So, you know, like, and, and a lot of the time people like uh, see people that have done something and they always say, oh, I don't know if I can do it that too. And my answer back is always, well, I'm not different than you. I put on pants just like you. So, you know, like uh, you can do it, you know, and therefore I'm there almost like a source of, um, um, how can I explain it? More like a, a shoulder to lean on, you know, like, so yes. if you want, help you know i'm here and we'll do it together and that i think that means more than people realize sometimes just just knowing that you're you're there for them so do you have any advice for others on how they could apply these habits in their own lives either as maybe mentoring others or for those that are looking for a mentor you know like as a mentor i find it that uh, um on the other side if you are somebody that look for a mentor it's very difficult for that person to go out and ask so what I like to say is like, go ask. If you feel like that you have something that you want to do, nobody in this world is unreachable. You can find a way to go and talk to them. Of course, you have to be respectful because, uh, you know, everybody's super busy in this world, but there is so many people out there that they want to help. So don't be scared. And from my side, I really welcome anybody that wants to learn anything that is in my vertical, I will say, because that's where I have the expertise. And uh, I'm always there, you know, you want to end, you know, as much as I can, I'll, I'll help you succeed. That's amazing. So as we celebrate Women's History Month, tell us who inspired you. Ah, this is a question that I get a lot of time. And uh, what I really like to say all the time is actually my mom and dad. <laughs> My parents have been so good with me, like, as I said at the beginning of this interview, when I was a little, an Italian little girl at six, they said, one day I'm going to go to America and race motorcycle and beat everybody I can compete with. It's probably like a majority of the people will dismiss that completely. But my parents just stick with me and uh, did all the sacrifice, you know, to get me to achieve my goal. So if I have to say an idol, it's definitely them because it's because of what I learned from them. Now I feel I can do that to others too. That is wonderful. Thank you, Steffi, for talking with me and sharing the work you're doing to empower and inspire young girls and women in STEM. And thank you also to those of you tuning in. We hope you're celebrating Women's History Month, and we invite you to visit the Henry Ford in Dearborn, Michigan, and online at thf.org to learn more about other leaders, innovators, inventors, and entrepreneurs who inspire us every day.